when you see this following what it was commented before about you shouldn't block and stuff like this what are your thoughts on this why is this correct what is the difference between i'm just gonna put a quotation mark what my sense is telling me and this first off i i i i kind of fundamentally disagree with the overall statement of it is incorrect to block it's not always the best tactic it's not always a technically sound decision it's not always a good idea and it can be indicative of an underlying issue such as being un unwilling to engage in a match. In this particular example, this is a good example of defense. He's using his Ash Sabaki, he's using his Shinai Sabaki, and he's keeping keeping his Kamai reasonably firm as he deflects his opponent. You know, someone just commented there, this is deflect, not a block, but in its concept, it's the same thing, isn't it? It's, no, it's avoiding being struck. This is a very tactically sound way to block because he's not putting him, exposing himself very much to a strike by doing things like raising his hands. But what's, what was the correct thing for him to do then? Be struck? I'm going to make an assumption here based on, you know, the most common good intentions that senseis have. Normally when we get this comment is that because we're just standing still because we're waiting and we, we don't act and instead we're reacting all the time. I feel maybe your mm. sensei is trying to tell you be more proactive, right? Don't just Yeah, that's there. what you're saying. That's definitely what that's coming from. 100% that's where it's coming from. It's coming from being told that you shouldn't be negative or just defensive. You should, especially when you're practicing with the sensei or the senior, yes. you should be trying to overcome the fear of being hit. It doesn't matter if you're hit. Of course, you're going to get hit by the sensei. That's why they're the sensei. But that's, that's not the same. It's not some sort of outright commandment, as I say, is you should never, ever block. There's a good, there's a good comment there, again, from the same person there that says uh, blocking is way your feet are planted and you become like an uchikomi dai yes. um that that's an interesting point so um if you block like this but move your feet that's not blocking that's not right either is it if i block like this and then run backwards and i uh, is that okay it's not right it's it, it's not okay or not okay mm -hmm. in kendo it's 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 not a good thing necessarily for the most part in a, in something like a tati eye yeah. to just stand there and let the other person hit you and to just outright say you should never block is just nonsensical it, it, it's just it's just not it's just not a teaching I, that exists in, in my experience so far of doing kendo in japan my kendo tip of the day for that it would be that if you see ega sensei here he never takes the attention and intention from his opponent right even when yeah, the person is coming yeah, sure. right after mm. he not only he's ready again yeah, which is normally yeah. not what we see when people are blocking because when you're reacting you're just kind of always holding back and maybe the sensei is trying to tell you just keep your intention towards your opponent rather than yeah you know being defensive if you found some value in this video you may also like this breakdown i did on ega sensei's amazing kayashido also if you enjoyed this you may like being part of one of my live streams all you have to do is make sure that you're subscribed have your notifications on so you know when i go live or when i post new videos Please, if you got some value, make sure you hit the like button and share this with someone you want their kind of to improve. Thank you very much for watching.